What's up guys? Beautiful day out here in the mountains. I'm in Colorado and down here is Rampart Reservoir and it is stocked with beautiful, beautiful trout and that is what I'm fishing for today. The goal, catch and cook some beautiful rainbow trout. Let's get down there. Let me get down to that rock right there. Absolutely beautiful, crystal clear water. I was out here the other day doing a catch and release session, caught several trout that were hiding under these rocks. So now we've come back out with the goal of keeping them. So I'm gonna employ a similar strategy on how to catch them. All right, these are stock trout in this lake. At least most of them are gonna be stocked anyway. So the regulations on catching them are a little bit more lax. I don't have to use a fly rod, thank goodness. I'm not quite skilled enough with a fly rod to catch a trout in Colorado. So what I'm doing, very similar method that I use back home in Houston for all manner of sunfish, panfish. A little spinner like that with a little bit of worm. The lure, the spinner, gets their attention. That draws them in. And in a lot of cases, when trout follow the lure, they'll turn off it at the last second. But because I've got live bait tipped on here, um, as they get so close where they would normally turn off, I think it just kind of drives them over the top. They have to have it. An easier way to fish, to be sure. Uh, but the goal today is to get something to eat. I want to put it real close to those other rocks. You see the peak out there that kind of jets out into the water? I want to put this right next to that. Let it sink down. And we'll bring it back. There's a trout right there. He was chasing it. I cannot believe we got to follow that fast. That happened very quick. Got him. Got him. Oh no. Okay. Well. Wow, I'm both happy and upset about this. It's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish, but not one for the table. Not one for the table. It's a bluehead. Hold still, buddy. It's a bluehead sucker. He's a big one. He's gorgeous. That is a beautiful fish. This is not one we're going to eat. So, this guy would be better off uh, on my main channel rather than uh, our cooking channel. There you go, get him in all of his beautiful colors. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. Finally. Itty bitty fish. Look at that. That is a beautiful animal though. Incredible. Incredible. Wow, what a gorgeous little animal. Look, he's missing an eye. That's absolutely, what a stunner. And an absolute, oop, let's make sure he doesn't get off the hook. Absolute stunner that is. Beautiful. There we go. Beautiful little fish. We got him dispatched. You guys can see we went clean through the gills, broke the neck. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit more fishing. I don't know if we're going to catch anything else. But I want to keep this guy fresh. So I've got a line through his mouth, through his gill. And we're going to put him in the water. This water is extremely cold. And that'll keep him fresh for, you know, a little bit less than an hour, I should think. Oh, look at that. Use this stick here with this split in it. Just shove that in there. It'll be good for a second. Got him. Oh, oh no. I, I had him. You guys see him fly off? Had him hooked and he went flying off the hook. Oh man, that's disappointing. That's probably the result of having a hook that was too big for that fish. Got a second chance maybe. 
Oh, nope. That was an interesting looking fish. That one did not. I don't know. That one didn't feel like a trout. It could have been another one of those suckers. It's just a bunch of fish hanging out right at the edge of the wall there. Okay, we got someone interested. Yep. What do we got? Ooh, a good trout. Yes. Fish of the day. Get in that. Oh, God. It's bouncing around everywhere. Get in the net. Get in the net. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. I forgot I had my net tied in my bag, and I was like, what the hell is happening? Because I was trying to pick up the net. But I just got to I just gotta secure him now. Okay, he's secured. That right there. That right there. He's not huge, but that is going to be some of the best fish. I can tell you right now, as long as I keep my cooking simple and follow the basics, a fish like this out of a lake like this, it's going to be some of the best fish I've had in a long time. Back up the mountain. Not really a mountain. I mean, there's mountains out here. We're more on the side of a huge hill within a mountain range. Beautiful trout. That smells delicious. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, rainbow trout on its own, just spectacular fish. 
and then fresh rosemary not even not even ground up rosemary or you know bottled rosemary but a fresh sprig of rosemary and lemon olive oil cast iron in a setting like this it just is absolutely phenomenal I, I cannot think of a better way uh, to uh, to summarize what it means uh, to eat outdoors than to to eat a fish caught here cooked like this in a spot like this just absolutely the best just amazing amazing fish so good bones in so much flavor with these trout when they're this small you can literally crunch the bones if you want to or just grab a hold of the spinal cord look at that meat just falls right off of it there you go you have his backbone which we don't need i'll let one of the magpies have it it's absolutely phenomenal phenomenal take these off just to kind of appreciate everything out here for a moment I'm telling you guys, this is this is better than anything I could have asked for. <laughs> My rosemary really came through on that one. It's absolutely incredible. some of this meat my knife here and just very gently pinch it up I don't want to burn my fingers on the pan but that is just phenomenal delicious food outdoor cooking at its absolute best my favorite thing that can happen in any moment uh, of cooking where you feel like you've done your best um, is when you keep things very simple and you can taste not only every ingredient the fish, the olive oil, the rosemary, the lemon, uh, and the salt, but you can taste how they all come together. And that's, I know that's the basics of cooking. That's the whole point. Uh, but it's very rare that an amateur like me and many people watching get all those things to come together correctly. And I think there's certain things that really help with that. Simplicity, uh, principle, and then um, just having the right tools for the job. So cast iron, not Teflon. Um, and of course your spirits being high um, does not hurt and in a place like this. How can you not have? Spirits that soar like the eagle and that was horrible just I'm in a phenomenal mood right now And I have phenomenal food Doesn't get better Look at how that just flakes off of that not overcooked literally about a minute per side at most and you just have the most amazing trout beautiful Don't want to eat the fin. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below what you'd like to see me do next. If you have any suggestions about what I could have done to make this better, let me know as well. Um, I'm by no means anything close to um, a solid cook. I'm just an amateur who's trying to have a good time outside. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below. I'll be happy to try them out next time. Be sure to check out our other channel, Wildlife. It's our fishing channel. You can find the link to that on the homepage or in the description of this video. If you just click on description, it'll open up. You'll see the link. That's to our main page. We do all of our main fishing there, so the catch and release of all the big fish, alligator gar, sharks, catfish, things like that. Remember, guys, our three rules. Respect the food, respect the great outdoors, and have a good time. I think we've done all three of those today, so I'm good to call it quits. More is coming. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later. Incredible view.